In the room of a small boy named Christopher Robin, there were some remarkable toys. There was timid little Piglet, gloomy old Eeyore, bouncy Kanga, and little Roo. But the most remarkable of all was a bear called Winnie the Pooh. Now, all of these remarkable animals lived in an enchanted place called the Hundred Acre Wood. And this is where our story begins. On this blustery day, Pooh decided to visit his thoughtful spot. And on the way there, he made up a little hum, and it went something like this. Hum, dum, dum, dee, dum, 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 dee. Oh, the wind is lashing lustily, and the trees are thrashing thrustily, and the leaves are rustling gustily, so it's rather safe to say that it seems that it may turn out to be fields, that it will undoubtedly look like a rather blustery day today. It seems that it may turn out to be fields, that it will undoubtedly look like a rather blustery day. Oh, I know today is Wednesday, and this is how I know. It is always on a Wednesday that the winds begin to blow. Oh, the wind is lashing lustily, and the trees are thrashing thrustily, and the leaves are rustling gustily, so it is rather safe to say that it seems that it may turn out to be fields, that it will undoubtedly look like a rather blustery day today. It seems that it may turn out to be fields, that it will undoubtedly look like a rather blustery day. The end, everybody inside. Fortunately, Pooh's thoughtful spot was in a sheltered place, and now he sat down and tried very hard to think of something. Since Pooh was a bear with a very little brain, whenever he thought, he thought in the most thoughtful way he could think. What's wrong, Sonny? Got a headache? No, I was just thinking. What about? I... Oh, bother, you made me forget. If I were you, I would think about getting out of here. Why? Because it's Wednesday. It is? Oh, then I think I shall wish everyone a happy Wednesday. And I will begin with my dear friend Piglet. Now, Piglet's house was in another part of the forest. It was a very grand house in the middle of a beech tree. And Piglet loved it very much because it had belonged to his grandfather, Trespasser Will, which was short for Trespassers William. Well, although Piglet was timid, he was also very tidy, and this blustery day was giving him a bit of a bother. Oh, dear. This wind is a very unfriendly wind. Just look at my front yard. I don't mind the leaves that are leaving. It's the leaves that are coming. Help! Help somebody save me! Oh, Pooh, am I glad to see you. Yeah. Happy Wednesday, Piglet. It isn't very happy for me. Where are you going, Piglet? That is what I ask myself. Where? And what do you think you will answer yourself? Uh, I shall have to wait until I get there, I guess. Here, give me your hand. Pooh, I am unraveling. And you know it was true? For instead of catching Piglet's hand, all Pooh caught was the arm of Piglet's sweater. And as the wind swept Piglet up into the sky, the sweater unraveled until Piglet was flying high over the country like a kite. First he blew over Kanger and Roo, and Roo wanted next time to fly Piglet. Eeyore's house and Rabbit's rutabaga patch were devastated by the flying Piglet and the dragging Pooh. Then, with the lustiest, blustiest blast of all, Piglet and Pooh were blown right up into a tree right up to Owl's house. Today's weather report called off on account of bad weather. Yeah, boss. Oh, incredible. Someone's pasted Piglet on my window. Well, well, I see you've taken to flight. I wasn't aware that Piglets had the necessary dorsal muscles for aerobatics. I don't. Happy Wednesday, Owl. Wednesday? 
Ho, ho, my good fellow, this is only a gentle spring zephyr compared to the big wind of 67, uh, or was it 76? Well, no matter. You're not listening. I was just looking, and I was just wondering, is there honey in that box? Oh, uh, yes, yes, of course. Uh, help yourself. Oh, thank you. In our... As I was saying, I remember the big blow well. It was the same year my Aunt Clara went to visit her cousin, a oh. screech owl, who sang soprano in the London Opera. Yeah. Constant practicing so unnerved my aunt that she laid a seagull egg by mistake. Well, well, well. Licked the platter clean, so to speak. Did you do that? I don't think so. Owl's floor was slowly trying to see what it would look like as a wall. And the wall was trying to be a ceiling, and the tree roots were trying to be branches. Suffering sassafras. You better shingle that shack, Sonny. She's gonna rain like 60 come nightfall. I'm going somewhere and dig me a high hole. Howell's friends soon gathered at the scene of his misfortune, and no one seemed to know what to do, except Eeyore. If you ask me, and nobody has, I say when a house looks like that, it's time to find another one. That's a very good idea, Eeyore. A thankless job, but I'll find a new one for him. Might take a day or... Good. That will just give me time to tell you about my Uncle Clyde, a very independent barn owl. Didn't give a hoot for tradition. Yes. Uh, he became enamored of a pussycat and went to see a beautiful pea-green boat. But that's another story. Finally, the blustery day turned into a blustery night. And to Pooh, it was a very anxious sort of night. And all around his house, he heard anxious sorts of noises. And one of the noises was a sound that he never had heard before. <coughs> now, Pooh, being a bear with a very little brain, did a very brave thing. He decided to invite the new sound in. <laughs> Hello out there. Oh, I hope nobody answers. Hello, I'm Tigger. Oh, you scared me. Sure I did. Everyone's scared of Tiggers. Who are you? I'm Pooh. What's a poo? You're sitting on one. Glad to meet you. I'm new around here. Name's Tigger. I, I, double T, I, double gear. That spells Tigger. <laughs> what is a Tigger? Glad you brought that up, chum. The wonderful thing about Tiggers is Tiggers are wonderful things. Their tops are made out of rubber. Their bottoms are made out of springs. They're bouncy, trouncy, bouncy, bouncy, fun, 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 fun. But the most wonderful thing about Tiggers is I'm the only one. The wonderful thing about Tiggers is Tiggers are wonderful chaps. They're loaded with women with vigor. They love to leave in your laps. They're jumpy, bumpy, comfy, thumpy, fun, 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 fun. But the most wonderful thing about Tiggers is I'm the only one. Tiggers are cuddly fellows. Tiggers are awfully sweet. Everyone else is jealous. That's why I repeat and repeat. The wonderful thing about Tiggers is Tiggers are wonderful things. Their tops are made out of rubber. Their bottoms are made out of springs. They're bouncy, trouncy, flouncy, pouncy, fun, 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 fun. But the most wonderful thing about Tiggers is I'm the only one. Oh, I'm the only one. Piglet, he was frightened with 
Christian a message he did write. He placed it in a bottle and it floated out of sight. And the rain, rain, rain came down, 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 so Piglet started bailing. He was unaware atop his chair while sailing, he was sailing. And so he thought, I must rescue my supper. Ten honey pots he rescued, enough to see him through. But as he sopped up his supper, the river sopped up poo. And the water twirled and tossed him in a honey pot.
Do you know where it may be? Look around, it can be found. Just search your bound to find that tree. Can you find that honey tree? Do you happen to know where it may be? Well, just look around. It can be found. Just search. You're bound to find that tree. Clapping hands will help you know just how far you have to go. Honey is sweet, a sticky treat, and it it it's it, 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 it's wonderful. Can you find the honey? Come on, you're not looking. Do you know where it is? Look over that way. Well, over that way. Look around, it can be found. Just search your bound to find that tree. Please help Winnie find his honey tree, please. Can you find the honey tree? Can you find the honey tree? Look around, it can be found. Look around, it can be found. Can you find the honey tree? Can you find the honey tree? Once upon a time, there was a lovable bear named Winnie the Pooh. That's him. That's Winnie. Yeah, he's my buddy. And I never go any place without him. Oh, Winnie the Pooh, Winnie the Pooh. Toppy little copy all stuffed with fluff. He's Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh, willy nilly silly old bear. A donkey named Eeyore is his friend. And Kanga and Little Roo. There's Rabbit and Piglet and there's Owl. But most of all, Winnie the Pooh. Do, 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 do. Come on, all you cats are supposed to be friends of Winnie the Pooh. Let's join in with it. Come on, Kanga and Roo. Run. Let's go. Oh. Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> Tubby little puppy all stuck with fluff. He's Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh. Willy nilly silly old bear. I didn't hear no Eeyore. I can't say. Roo, you ain't making it, man. You're a bad cat for a kangaroo. <laughs> <laughs> now, come on, let's hear it. Follow me. Oh, papa do dee boo boo Oh, papa do dee boo boo Hop do boo boo yo Hop do boo bee boo yo Hop do boo 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 Willy nilly silly old bear La 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 
Tweedle doodle doodle dwee. Tweedle doodle tweedle dwee. Poo 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 poo. Poo poo poo. Poo bear. Willy 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 willy